I can. Apparently, oh, we're yeah. going to get straight onto the road in a second. So, um, yeah. If you're ready, let's uh, let's do this little okay. obstacle course. Okay, we're going now then. So, what were you programmed in then? We're in low range. Yeah. We got high and low range on this car. We're running in low range. I put it into sports mode in low range. This gives it a, like a manual gearbox now, and I can change it on the paddles as uh -huh. we're going round. We're in first gear at the moment. We've also got the air suspension right up to the off-road height. So that sort of raised us up a little raised bit. Raised us it? right up now. How much does it raise us up by? About two and a half inches. Oh, so, so quite a bit. Yeah. And then we set the vehicle up into train response. We've gone into uh, rock crawl. So we've got standard road, grass, gravel, snow, slippery surfaces, mud and ruts, sand and rock crawl. And what's rock crawl? That's, that's so you can go over big boulders and things, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's got more control, lots of dips. Right. And just gives us more. Uh, and so we're actually going to drive up this steep slope yep. now. Nice and gently, we're going to go up. Okay. Just above the tick over. Yep. We're just going to go up nice and gently. And what sort of angle are we actually going up here at the moment? Oh my oh, word. I'd say this is about <laughs> 32. 32 degrees. And yeah. what's, the, what's the maximum we can actually go up? For the customers in the handbook, right, what okay. we do is a little bit different. It depends how you load the car yeah. and what you're doing. Okay, I can't believe we're inside. Right, now we're going to stop. Yep. We programmed the car up and we got Hill Descent come on. Hill Descent works through the braking si ABS braking so system. So have you got your brake on? I got the brake on now because we're stationary. Yeah. But when I take the, my foot off the foot brake, because we've got HTC on, that will control the car right down to three miles an hour. But any time I touch the brake pedal, it comes off. But I can also use the throttle and it will go through it. But if I come off the throttle, because I've got it switched in, it would bring it back down to three miles an hour. Right, okay. So, so this, we're, just, we, we, we're going to be we're all We're just right, going right. to go, hill descent control, come off the brake, oh. and let it, the vehicle do the work. I'm actually being held in by my seatbelt there. And now we're just going to go around onto a side slope. This is going to show you the angle the vehicle can go at. It can go at more than the angle we're showing you here. But this is just to show general public how good the vehicle is and how stable the vehicle is. Right, okay, so we're actually driving up a ramp here attached yeah. to the side of the trailer. And uh, yeah, we're, we're nice and gently. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, my word. That is unbelievable. So, I mean, you can see the angle here. I am leaning against the door, and it, it just, it's like he's just driving on a normal road, really. It is. Remarkable. Yeah, so smooth. Yeah. And the technology in the car is working all the time. Incredible. Obviously, you know, we're going quite slow here. When you're, when you're teaching customers about how the car's been engineered or the vehicle's been engineered, do you have to sort of, I mean, are there speed, are, do you not want to go too fast when you're hitting sort of big lumps? I mean, is the idea to, 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 to keep the speed to the terrain? It depends on the terrain you're on. You control the speed to what you're doing. If you go too fast, you're just going to throw everything around. And you could have the wheels off the ground and they're not doing anything for you. Right. So you, judge it to the, what you're going to do. Fantastic. Best Thank car you in the world. Much. Appreciate it. <laughs>